The biggest change in broadcast radio since the war has been the introduction of FM. The great advantage is that it's much less susceptible to interference. The spark which drowns out AM radio is hardly audible on FM. Why should you use the phrase guerrilla warfare? Because there are... FM stands for frequency modulation. The principle behind it is really quite simple. Instead of the sound altering the amplitude of the radio waves, as in AM, it alters their frequency. FM radio was yet another invention of Howard Armstrong. He started work in the early 30s with a missionary zeal to produce true hi-fi radio. After encouraging tests with RCA, the company suddenly pulled out. Sarnoff! Well, why have you cancelled my project? Ah, get off my back. Hi-fi radio, radio is the thing We're into of the TV future. Now. We're when FM radio was becoming established, Armstrong and RCA started a lengthy battle over the patents. You have stolen my ideas. You did not. I was the inventor. Certainly not. This had a disastrous effect on his health and on his marriage. Oh, I've had such a terrible day. By the way, I'm leaving. This is the last straw. I can't take any more. FM has now become firmly established and is invaluable for radio communications as well as for broadcasting. When I fly my little aircraft, I use radio. I personally wouldn't fly without one. This enables me to keep in touch with air traffic control and other air users and also airfields to tell them of your intentions. And if you do happen to get lost, air traffic control can help you find your way. And it also is a navigational radio. I can tune in to various fixed beacons throughout the country and I can fly directly to and from these beacons and that helps immensely to find your way around the country. Domestic radios have also become much more sophisticated. Many now have automatic push-button tuning and the sound quality can be very impressive, particularly in stereo FM. But despite this improvement, radio has really been eclipsed by television and other modern marvels and radio sets aren't the important prized possessions they once were. In fact, the whole idea of a separate radio set is rather disappearing. Radios now tend to be combined with uh, cassette tape recorders or alarm clocks or hi-fi systems. Radio is so taken for granted today, it's hard to think of it as magical anymore, but I hope in this programme I've managed to persuade you that it still is. Mm -hmm.